So welcome back to another episode here on the Dango 612 channel. And this will be part 22 in our adventure. We just reached Cosmo Canyon. And we learned Red 13's, like name. What was it? Nana Nanaki or something like that. So, let's do more exploring here on the canyon. And see if we can learn more of uh, Retro Teen's backstory. As always, thank you guys so much for being here and supporting me throughout my journey here on YouTube. We are almost <laughs> reaching 3K subscribers, which is... Wow. Like, shocking to me, since <laughs> when I first started this channel, I only had, like, what, 100 subscribers? Like, damn. And 100 subscribers, like, meant something to me. So, oh, something special. But, let's continue on. Cosmo Canyon. Currently level 23 with Cloud. Time. 14 hours, man. And Gil, we're broke. Let's go. Alright. Oh yeah, I did buy a new weapon. I forgot about them. I think it's... So quick? Butterfly Edge. Awesome. Maybe transform? I don't know. Sounds... Alright, I think that's it. <laughs> Let's go up here. Oh, there's two ways. Okay. I'm gonna go this way first. Why not? Hello, old man. Who are you? Elder Hargo. If I pronounce that correctly. Where did I put it? I know it's around here. I wonder what he's looking for. Nothing to pick up. Nope. This direction. Oh man. Let's hope I don't get lost here. Can I? Yes, I can. It's a child. Bugenhagen sealed this door shut. How did he do that? With super glue. What? <laughs> okay. I see. There's a lot of ways. Like, there's two ways over here. Then there's another way over here. Then there's a ladder. I'm gonna take the ladder. Why not? Oh, man. What's this place? <laughs> um... Just allow me to go here. So why not? Hey, it's Red 13. So, Cloud, this is my grandfather, Hugen. I did not know that. I didn't even know. Okay. He is incredible. He knows everything. Hugen Hagen. Ho ho ho. I hear that you look after Nanaki. Nanaki is still a child, you see. Please stop, Grandfather. I'm 48. 48 years old, damn. Ho ho ho. Nanaki's tribe has incredible longevity. You know. So you see, his, 40 year, his 48 years would 
only be equivalent to say that uh, 15 or 16 years old in human reckoning. Oh, really? That's interesting. 15 or 16? He's quiet and very deep. You thought he was an adult? Yeah, I thought he was an adult also. Grandfather, I want to be an adult. I want to grow up. I want to grow up and be able to protect you and the village. Ho ho ho. No, Nanaki. You can't stand on your own yet. To do that now will destroy you in the long run. Reaching up into the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from the great city of Midgar. You've seen it, haven't you? Well, that's a bad example. Look up too much makes you lose perspective. What the hell? I like how he's floating in the air. When it's time for the planet to die, we'll understand that you know absolutely nothing. When the planet dies, we don't want the planet to die either. Ho ho ho. And maybe tomorrow, or a hundred years from now. But it's not long off. How do you know this? I hear the crest of a planet. Wait, what? What's that? The sounds of the stars in the heavens. While this goes on, planets are born and die. What the... What was that? That was a scream from the planet. Sure sounds eerie. Didn't you hear it? As if to say, I hurt. I suffer. They have to come here on a journey to save the planet. Oh, they have to come. Okay. Why don't you show them your... What? Apparatus. There we go. To save the planet. Ho ho ho. But, then again, I guess it wouldn't hurt to show him. Guggenhagen. Several odd looking people are here. You mean us? Yes, we are here. The whole place has gotten busy all of a sudden. He brought his friends too. I'll go get them. Cloud, please call one of them. Only three people can fit in grandfather's machine. Don't worry, my machine won't run away. Go and invite your friends. Alright? I guess let's go find our friends. Um, go down here, probably. Uh, where could they be? At? What's over here? Oh my god. Um, this is a great view from the whole canyon. Maybe I can't open this door, right? Nope, I don't think so. Hey, Kate Sif is here. Those two, uh, anyway, are you two friends? It really seems strange. Yes, we are. What did they say? Uh, 
kind of want to bring... Hmm... And I don't know... I want to bring Yuffie, so I can try her out. Buried Tifa and Arif. Man, I mean, Barry has a lot of them. Let's do Barry. Why not? There we go. Is that it? I think that was it. All right. There we go. That's my party for now. So I was on this side then. Is she sleeping? No, Mian, sir, he you forgot your chain. <laughs> That's me at work also. <laughs> I'm always tired, man. But somehow. I always get my energy back when I'm doing these videos. Alright. Here, over here. The door's unlocked. Come in. Alright. I'm here. Ho ho ho! It looks like you have. Wait, okay, looks like you have them all together. Then let's begin. I'll stand there. Whoa, cool lighting. Whoa. <laughs> what the? Whoa, whoa. Pretty good, surprising me. My God, the music, man! I swear, the soundtrack for this game is so amazing. Like I could hear this all day. <laughs> We're gonna hate. Hmm. Yes, yeah, pretty good. This is my laboratory. All the working of space. Or enter into this 3D holographic system. Look, what the? A shooting star? Wow, what? That's pretty sick. Like, he actually has this? The solar system. The black hole. Woo! Yes, it is something, isn't it? Well, let's get to the subject. Eventually, all humans die. What happens to them after they die? The body decomposes and returns to the planet. That much everybody knows. What about their consciousness, their hearts, and their souls? The soul too returns to the planet. And not only those of humans, but everything on this planet. In fact, all living things in the universe are the same. Man. We're getting to some deep stuff here. The spirits that return to the planet merge with one another and roam the planet. They roam, cover, and divide, becoming a swell called the life stream. Hmm. Life stream. In other words, a path of energy that the souls roam in the planet. 
Oh. Spirit energy. It's a word that you should never forget. A new life. Children are blessed with spirit energy and are brought into this world. Then, the time comes when they die and once again return to the planet. Of course, there were exceptions, but this is the way of the world. I've digressed, but you'll un understand better if you watch this. And cool cutscenes. <laughs> Always excites me. Oh, well, this earth. Huh. So everything that dies and then it's like a cycle. It's like a cycle. Spirit energy is the source of life for trees, okay. And not only living things, it makes it possible from, to form planets. Also to form planets, huh? And if that spirit energy were to disappear... It would be all black. Damn. Earth will be destroyed, as yes, we know it. These are the basics of the study of planet life. If spirit energy disappears, our planet will die. Spirit energy is efficient because it exists within nature. When spirit energy is forcefully extracted and manufactured, it can accomplish its true purpose. You're talking about macro energy, right? Every day, macro reactors suck up spirit energy. Oh, okay. So now I, now I understand why. Okay. See, it makes a whole lot of sense when Bugenhana explains it. It's like he knows it all. It's like he, if he's the founder of this planet, man. Spirit energy is compressed in reactors and processed into macro energy. All living things are being used up and thrown away. In other words, macro energy will only destroy the planet. Damn. Now that was cool. I enjoyed that show. The story of the planets are those who lived with them. If you want to know more, then you must listen to the words of the elders. So what now? Nanaki, his father a coward. So that's it. Nanaki's been thinking that all the, all this time. Is there more? No. Nope. Anything here I can collect? It's not. He's still upstairs. Nothing over here. There's another ladder. So what's this? Can I sit? I can view. Guess not. Oh well. Let's go back then. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, whoa. Oh, okay. Nothing, huh? 
Oh well. Go back. Climb back down. Nothing. Okay. Is this door finally open or is it so close? Okay, so same dialogue. Huh, they're not here. Where'd they go? Maybe go back? Um, down the stairs, and over here. Oh, there they are. A campfire. What a boring place. Just like I thought. I want to go somewhere. Let's go find some material. Oh. Cosmo Canyon. This is where Avalanche was born. I promise my guys someday, when we save the planet from the Shindra, that we all go to Cosmo Canyon and celebrate. Biggs, Wedge, Jesse. Damn. Now they're all gone. Died for this planet. Or died for that planet. Really? To save the planet? We all, we all hate the Shinra, but it is right to go on. Will they, will they ever forgive me? Right now, I really don't know, but I do know one thing. If there's anything I can do to save the planet or the people living on it, then I'm gonna do it. I don't care if it's for justice or revenge or whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Again, again. Avalanche is born again. What about you, Tifa? Cloud. Bonfires are funny, aren't they? They make you remember all sort of things. You know, Cloud, five years ago. It's nothing. No, forget it. I'm not afraid to ask. What is it? It feels like... It feels like you're going far away. You really, really are. You right? What about you? Nothing, Richard. Area? I learned a lot. The elders taught me many things about the Cetra and the Promised Land. I'm alone. I'm all alone now. But I'm where here. But I'm where here for you, right? I know, I know. But I am the only Cetra. Damn, that's crazy. She's the only one left. Does that mean we can't help? Man. I wonder how many years it's been. Gosh, it brings back memories. Elder... Bug. Hmm. What is it? The story of the ancients. You can't talk of the ancients without mentioning Professor Gast. 
He used to come here sometimes. He was a generous scholar who spent his life studying the ancients. He was a serious person. You never would have thought he'd be a general. Must have been about 30 years ago when he found the corpse of an ancient. He was el elated. If I recall, he named it Genova and was doing a lot of research. One day, he showed up here looking very distressed. He was mumbling something about Genova not being an ancient and that he'd done a terrible thing. He's been missing since then. I think he never went back to Shenra. Huh. So if you ever see Professor Gas, I want you to tell him. But the old man that likes his drink in the Cosmo Canyon wants to hear about the ancients. Well, there's a lot of to talk about. But most things about the ancients are old legend and folk tales, and no one knows the truth. By the way, your friends are all in front of the Cosmo Candle. Oh, so that's what it's called, Cosmo Candle. Okay. Are you all living now? Welcome. How about our original cocktail, Cosmo Candle? You drink now and then it's good for you. It relax you a bit. If you know when to stop. Oh, here we go. Long ago, when I was still very small, you were all around this flame. No, never mind. What happened? That's about my parents. When I talk about my mother, I am full of pride and joy. And that's fine, but when I think of my father, my heart is so full of anger. We can hang it. You really can't forgive your father. Of course, he left my mother for dead. When the... G... I want say G. When the G tribe attacked, he ran out by himself. Leaving mother and the people of the canyon. Come, Nanaki. There's something you should see. I wonder what. The place may be dangerous. Will you and one other person come with us? Oh man. Who to pick indeed? So I wanna try out you, so why not? And this is really exciting. 